everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you may have noticed, I'm in a little bit of a different spot because my desk is extremely messy. I'm looking at it right now and oh man, it is messy. I'm, so now I'm in this new set with some new stuff and I'm in an extremely squeaky director's chair. Anyways, um, yeah, you get the drill, it's a QA. and a uh, I asked you guys a few days ago to drop some questions and we're gonna answer them. Are you Mephisto? How did you know that? <laughs> I mean, no. Obviously not. No. No, that's, no, that's Derek Noss. I think Derek Noss is Mephisto. What is your favorite Spider-Man live-action series? Toby, Andrew, or Tom Holland? And just as actors, not judging the movies, what's your favorite Spider-Man actor? Now look, everyone, every teenager now is all like, Ooh, Tom Holland, Tom Holland. Toby. Toby is easily the best Spider-Man. Now to be, now to be, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I was making fun of the people like Tom Holland, but honestly... But this guy said to take the movies out of it, and just the actors, so I don't know. Andrew Garfield is a great actor, but they did him dirty with the Amazing Spider-Man movies because they kind of suck. Or at least or at least the second one does. The second one <laughs> the second one just, it sucks bad. <laughs> but honestly, okay, so easily Tobey Maguire's movies are the best, but which actor do I actually like more, Tom or Tobey? Frick, I was making fun of Tom Holland, but I think Tom Holland might actually be my favorite... Actor-wise, he just kind of embody like the awkward teenager really well, and sometimes Toby was a little bit over the top. So even though I like Toby's movies more, I think I would actually say Tom Holland. My answer shifted so much from the beginning of that, didn't it? What inspired you to talk about animation and entertainment in general? Yeah, I like to clarify, even though for some reason I keep on talking about animated stuff, I like to think that my channel is about like movies and entertainment and not really just about animation. But to be fair, I don't help that sometimes because I talk about a lot of animation. But that's mainly because like so movies aren't coming out right now. They're finally just starting to come out. I'm not a huge Fast and Furious person, so I didn't review that one. I think I'm gonna be busy when Black Widow comes out. So it just always never works out for me when I want to review live action stuff. I don't know why. What inspired you to talk about it, though? Um, I, I want to be a film director. I question that a little bit now, because, like, I don't know if I want to actually just stay a YouTuber and maybe slowly transition into filmmaking, kind of like what Chris Stuckman is doing. I don't really know what my future is, but I'd like to think it's something in film in some capacity. Are you living the dream or dreaming to live? I think I'm living the dream right now. I got, I'm, I'm on a creative high. I have so many YouTube videos planned that are pretty ambitious. That's why it'll probably take a while to get the next few out because I gotta, gotta edit a lot of things. But I'm having more fun right now than I think I've ever had on YouTube before, honestly. So I really, I'm just living the dream. Plus I got a girlfriend now. I'm gonna keep on bringing that up. <laughs> the Hedgehog says when you're there, your family. I'm guessing this is in reference to my Sonic video. Which is cuter, Baby Yoda or Baby Groot? Baby Groot. That might have been a divisive opinion. Baby Groot is just awesome. And so is Baby Yoda. But I think Baby Groot could take Baby Yoda in a fight, I think. Unless Baby Yoda like learns how to use the Force by Mandalorian in season three time. In case, I don't know what happens then. Original Wheat comments, I have Detective Spielberg locked up in my closet and I will only let him out if you tell me why playing with fire is incredible. Well, okay, so a lot of people wonder why I talk about playing with fire so much and what is the story behind it and there is a story behind why I love playing with fire so much And I've definitely kept pretty secretive about it on my channel But you know, I guess and it has been a year on YouTube and I think you know now I think I'm, I'm interacting with my fans. I think it's finally time So the reason that playing with fire is so special to me is because wait 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 a minute I don't want to wait I don't I want Detective Spielberg to get out of the closet. I want him to stay there. What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> Jeez, that was it. You almost got me. I bet that was, I bet that was Detective Spielberg. Good thing I always pay attention to things. Always. All the time. Who drew that blue picture behind you? Oh, they're talking about the, in my Ask Me Anything, there was like that little like squirtle drawing. That was drawn by my friend Tyler when we were hanging out. Remember the time you forgot to put a playing with fire joke in a video. Yeah, that actually happens a lot. People think they're really smart when they point that out, but like, forget about it all the time. I know it's kind of a staple of my channel, but I do kind of forget to do that like all the time. Why is playing with fire your favorite movie? And you need to explain this time. I, what? Don't get mad at me, I can't now. Because if I explain it, Original Wheat is gonna let Detective Spielberg out of the closet. Because apparently he's locked up there. I don't even, how did you even get him? He's He's a slippery little fellow. Look, fine, cinema ranks. You've been pretty consistent watching my videos recently and I've seen your comments. I know you like my videos, so fine. I just, if I, t if I explain this, Detective Spielberg might get out. So I have to be really careful. So I'm just gonna tell you really, really quietly. So just come in, come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't be shy, come here, come here, come on, come on. Hey, hey, okay, so, yeah, closer. Okay, so the reason the reason I like playing, oh my, oh my mustache. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so the reason I like playing with fire so much is because of John, John C. <laughs> Hopefully that cleared everything up for you, Cinema Ranks. Low Gray, what camera do you use to film? Low Gray, uh, Low Gray, Low Gray. I always call him Low Gray. His name's Low Gray, I think. I, oh crap, am I mispronouncing it now? Ah. Also, when can we collab? We have made so many efforts and it never went through. That is extremely true. Uh, I think we've planned like eight different collabs and we've never once done it. I've never done a collab on my channel, actually. We're gonna find a way, okay? I'm gonna text you. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a, a video together. We are. We're gonna do it. Totally. Yes. Maximilian Zimmerman. How did you come up with the idea to make Detective Spielberg and your two different personas? And when will the new episode of Film Detective be uploaded? Okay, so there's a few things wrong with this question. First off, I didn't come up with the idea of Detective Spielberg. He's a different person. I, I don't care how many times I have to explain this. I am not Detective Spielberg and Detective Spielberg is not me. Detective Spielberg, just look at us. We don't even look similar. I don't know what y'all are seeing. Uh, and when will the new episode of Film Detective be uploaded? Hopefully never. Ever, because I don't want to get locked in the closet again. This is the closet. This is literally the closet right here. You think I want to go back in here? Look, it's dark. I know you want to be a film director, but have you ever tried acting? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I've tried acting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. Still have nightmares about it. <laughs> just, okay, so look, Carter, I swear, just don't put clips from your bad acting on screen. Carter, I know as an editor, it's tempting because I just set you up for it, but Carter, you're gonna regret it. Do not put clips of your bad acting in the video. La 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 I hit the mic. Considering I have a West Side Story album right there and a Hamilton notebook right here. Uh, yeah, they suck. They suck big time. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually not a huge fan of musicals, but it's just really funny that you're having to ask me when I had those two. I do quite love Hamilton. I watched it the first time and didn't like it. And then I went to work the next day and I just listened to the soundtrack. And then for about two months straight, I only listened to Hamilton. And then I just watched West Side Story recently and that was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty snazzy. Once you're a jet, you're a jet. <laughs> Stay cool, boy. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of musicals but like there's some I can I can I can vibe to. I have a chocolate bar. Mm. Mm. Hey look comments thoughts on Loki being dot dot dot. And yeah I don't know I am a little bit mixed about Loki being dead you know after they killed him in episode four because I don't really know what's coming after that. By the time this video comes out the show might even be dying I don't know. <laughs> but yeah I don't know how I feel about that. I just swear I swear if they kill off Mobius don't kill off Mobius. I love Mobius. Wow that's that guy. I like that guy. Don't don't kill him off. He's so hot right now. <laughs> if you haven't seen Zoolander that doesn't really make sense. Actually hold on. Oh wait they're not even in frame. Get out of here, Perry. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Zoolander, uh, you guys are missing out. Uh, it's a, it's dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. But you enjoy watching my videos, so you already enjoy watching dumb things. So you might as well go watch it. What are the odds that I wear this for the rest of Q and I'm at least gonna wear it for a little bit. What movies are you scared to watch? Okay, so people kind of like say this is kind of contradictory. I don't like horror, but I like thriller. So it's like, it's kind of funny because I'm like, oh, I don't like horror, but my favorite movie is Sixth Sense, and I know like. Six Sense is not like a horror, it's like a thriller, horror, kind of spooky stuff, you know? But like, I do not watch movies like The Conjuring, It. I feel like that stuff would freak me out too much, but I am totally aware of the fact that I'm probably gonna watch it just to do a video of me getting spooked. I do a lot of videos about stuff that scared me as a kid, and I kind of want to do stuff where I like watch stuff now that's supposed to scare me, because I get jump scared and stuff so easily. And I know that me getting scared would make some great content, so you know. You know what they say, you gotta... Sacrifice your own well-being for content. <laughs> what do you do in the morning after after waking up? Well, it depends on what day. There's different days. So like some days I'll get up at six and I'll go to work. And then there's days like today where I just got up and I just chilled because I'm off. I like those days the most. <laughs> Are you still in the ropes about anime? Ooh, I'm glad. I'm glad you asked that. He says another recommendation is Attack on Titan and Ju... <laughs> I'm, um, I, <laughs> I'm about to butcher this. Jujutsu... Kai Kazai is on. Actually, wow, I was afraid I was gonna butcher that, but I actually nailed that. <laughs> but I'm glad you asked about being on the ropes about anime because my girlfriend did con. <laughs> I'm saying the word girlfriend way too much in this video. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to brag about it. I kind of am. But I was convinced by a friend. 
to watch an anime called Erased. And once you guys see that big video, it's gonna be a huge video, it'll be broken up into two parts. Once you see how I feel about that show, I think you can kind of get a grasp of who maybe I'll do more anime vids, we'll see. Favorite band? Uh, my favorite musician, like, is NF, but I would say favorite band is 21 Pilots. Actually, wait, hold up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of cool. Oh, I moved. I moved the chair from there. And so when I sat down, I... Huh. And I'm just going to leave it. It's fine. It's good. Gives it, it gives it more character. Yeah, I got a 21 Pilots hoodie. Yeah, I'm kind of cool. If that was ever in question. I like that I mentioned in the in Car Class 3 that I was kind of becoming a big fan of 21 Pilots. And now I got their Scaled and Icy merch. Looking... Fresh in my drip. <laughs> I'm way too white to say that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love this. I love 21 Pilots so much, even though I just found them a few months ago. And as much as everyone hates Skilled and Icy, even though I will admit it's not their best, but I still like their, I still like it a lot. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna put this back on. On a scale from what, oh, wait, hold on. On a scaled, on a, on a scaled and ice, icy, that didn't actually, that wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. On a scale from one to one, how good do I look right now? It's okay, don't be modest. I know I'm hot. <laughs> right when scientists were like, he couldn't possibly get any hotter. He did. <laughs> what do you think of this really cool song? Okay, surely it's gonna be a Rick roll. It's gonna be a Rick roll, right? Like, look at me. I'm not stupid. I look very smart. So it's not really a Rick roll if I know that it's gonna be one, you know? When a stranger's to love, you know the rules, and so do I. I want to keep wearing this for the rest of the video. Also, what happened to Film Detective? It seems like he just disappeared. Shh, shh, shh don't say his name. He's gonna show up. Cause remember, I told, I told Cinema Ranks, I play with fire. He could show up. He could show up any minute. Seems like he just disappeared. Yeah, I think he got scared, honestly, cause I'm pretty, <clears throat> I'm pretty intimidating. I'm a pretty intimidating man. What is your favorite piece of merchandise you have? Ooh, like Funkos or action figures and stuff. Well, I like this Zoolander wig. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What is my favorite piece of merch? Tyler got me the Playing With Fire poster. This Darth Vader is kind of special to me because my little sister bought him for me for Christmas and I'm just, I'm, I'm sentimental. I'm a sentimental dude. Oh, this helmet is pretty cool too. Uh, obviously my lightsaber. I'm gonna take off my... My clothes now. It was fun. I'm sure the I'm sure they'll appear again. Actually, you know what I just remembered? Film Detective, his last appearance on the channel, he actually made a cameo in the Tenet Trick Shot video. He somehow snuck his way in there. But he broke his mug. his mug and he broke it and I but I was the one who had to clean it up so I don't know I don't know where he's gone I don't know where he's gone I'd be okay with him never coming back he was a jerk hey did it talk like this <laughs> those are some those are some of my those are some of my favorite merchies <laughs> my, <laughs> my favorite merchies also I really like this Lego set of Anna and like fighting like shh, shh, shh. that's pretty cool yeah, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> favorite and least favorite gumball episodes. There was an episode called the BFF that I thought was so horrible. I don't really remember it that well. I just remember hating it. Um, best episodes, The Joy. Obviously, that's a classic, even though it's horrified me. There's another episode that I haven't talked about, though, that is probably the best episode. The episode where they use the remote. Basically, it's like Rob using this remote that controls the real world. That is, like, probably the best episode of Gumball. It's like a two-part special. I have not made a video about that. If I were to make another Gumball review, that's probably what I talk about because it's such a great episode. Favorite and least favorite Star Wars The Clone Wars episodes. <sighs> favorite episodes. The last four episodes of Clone Wars are incredible and then the one, the four before that with the Rafa sisters are pretty... Um, I love the episodes Legacy of Terror and Brain Invaders so much that you might see a video about them coming soon. Just letting you know. Maybe that's actually the reason I'm not filming right here is because my desk is actually in use. Filming that video. Whoopsies. Spoilers. <laughs> and pretty much every single episode of Clone Wars on Mandalore are amazing. A lot of the episodes with Darth Maul are quite incredible. The show really picks up in season three. I love the episodes of Ventress trying to kill Dooku. I love the whole Mortis arc. 
think that's really good. There's just, there's so much good in Clone Wars, but there is also a lot of bad, such as that one episode, there's that one episode with C3 and R2 called like Mercy Mission. That episode sucks. How would you rate air out of 10? I personally find it much more enjoyable than having no air, but others may disagree. Actually, divisive opinion. I actually quite like air. Like when I go like, <gasps> That's nice. I like doing that. <laughs> and if you could steal power sets from any superhero or villain or any fictional character with powers, whose power would you take? <laughs> I would probably take Batman's power and be like, yes, I want Batman's power. And then be like, wait a minute, this wasn't a good deal. <laughs> Who's a big YouTube inspiration for you? Chris Stuckman. He's definitely someone that I look up to a lot, even though I only found him a few years ago. He just seems really down to earth, loves talking about movies. But also the thing that really inspires me about him is that he's kind of taken the approach that I think I want to do. I'm very inspired by his model of becoming a YouTuber and slowly transitioning into filmmaking and so like when he pulls that off like that's gonna be so exciting and I think I'm gonna try to do something similar so he's a very big inspiration for me can you review more gumball episodes okay look so I don't want my channel to become a gumball channel and a lot of people really like my gumball videos and I do and I like making them but I I can't let my channel turn into a gumball channel because then it's like so many people will subscribe for gumball videos and that's not what my channel is and then they won't watch anything else. So I try really hard to right now trying to like reassure that my channel is about movies and entertainment and not just gumball. Even though I do like making gumball videos and stuff. I know that's a little bit annoying probably but I, I don't know. So many people just kind of think my channel is like a gumball channel and I don't want that. <laughs> and it probably doesn't help that I talk about animation a lot and not as much live action, but that's just because there's less live action stuff coming out right now. Hunter asks, will you ever do a review of Playing With Fire? And then Salty Chips commented, he's gonna say it's too good, so there's no point or something like that. Salty, you're actually a little bit wrong on this one. I do plan on doing a Playing With Fire review. It has to be built up. My channel is not big enough to do a Playing With Fire review yet. It has to be something that everyone's anticipating, and it also can't be one video. It would have to be an eight part in-depth analysis and also once I get big enough I, if I ever do I probably won't <laughs> but if I ever get big enough I plan on eventually making a feature length film playing with fire 2 the fire strikes back and it will be like so over the top cringy and cheesy and I and it like it'll be horrible but I plan on doing that one day in the future maybe making that my first feature film so yeah that's something to look forward to so subscribe <laughs> subscribe if you want me to make a feature length play with fire sequel I have literally had that idea since I started YouTube. There's old journals where like I was writing down like video ideas for my film class. But like you can see like ideas, card revision, playing with fire 2, the fire strikes back. But one day I'm gonna make a feature length playing with fire 2. Just you wait. Just you wait. Favorite video game? Minecraft. <laughs> Actually, okay, hold on. Hold on. I know people you're not supposed to Please don't crack. Please don't crack. Please don't be cracked. 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 It's not cracked. Yay. So like you're not supposed to share embarrassing things on the internet. But you may have noticed I've kind of put in the backgrounds of my videos recently. I am reading a Minecraft novel and I'm not ashamed to admit that because it's really freaking fantastic. I, I know it's lame, but I just heard about it and like I heard there was like an interesting story about like if you woke up in the world and like the author's like kind of like making fun of how it doesn't make sense and I started reading it and it's actually so great. So that's probably my favorite video game. Oh my gosh, look at the next comment. Can you review that Minecraft Island book that's right beside you? Uh, just feel like it'd be something cool and epic. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I swear I didn't see that. That's amazing. I tend to tease books that I'm reading in the backgrounds of videos because this year I've tried to get really into reading. And it's funny that you asked me to review it because at the end of the year I plan on doing a review of all the books I've read this year. I haven't read that many but I'm just trying to get back into reading over this year because I fell out of it for a long time. But I used to read a lot as a kid and then I just completely stopped. And then last year I read a handful of books and I was like, you know what, next year. I am going to be productive and I'm actually get into reading and like actually be different than everyone else and actually read books. And I, it's been pretty good. I've, I've enjoyed reading more again. And this book is really good. It's one of my favorite books I've read this year. What is your favorite Funko Pop that you own? Ooh, actually, I think that one's also in my closet. Hold on. Oh, I almost did it again. I almost did it again. I all, wow, that would have been a disaster. Just like my life. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is my favorite Funko Pop I own. It's the 1960s Batman uh, and Robin. So cool. So cool. I'm cool. That's why I have it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on adding props every time I get one. Remember on the diary video I said Hershey was my favorite candy? Original Weech. Remember when you were wrong about King Kong winning and the Godzilla vs. Kong? Let's just think about that the first 12 hours. What is your favorite movie of all time besides Playing With Fire? Sixth Sense or Revenge of the Sith? By the way, I remember... But what, I, 
By the way, I remember way back when you reviewed every single Star Wars movie and ranked them. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Don't tell me about my ranking all the Star Wars movies. Can we cancel me for that? Because that's such a horrible video. The editing, it just ugh, all bad. I hate that video. I hate those videos. But I think I like to leave them up because it shows how much I've improved. And you're wearing a Rise of Skywalker shirt, therefore meaning that you are advertising Rise of Skywalker. I just canceled Carter. Hold up. Uh, you're going to cancel me. I was just, I literally just, I was just asking to cancel myself first off. Haha, <laughs> beat you. But. Divisive opinion. I actually really like The Rise of Skywalker. Hold on, hold, don't kill me. Okay, don't kill me. There's a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of missed opportunities and there's a lot wrong with it. I actually really like Rise of Skywalker. I know. I'll, I'm sure I'll make videos about it one day. Barbecue Sauce comments, what's your favorite condiment? Barbecue sauce. <laughs> now, a lot of people have noticed that I've been hiding like barbecue sauce and other stuff in the backgrounds of my videos. And I just, and some of you guys have been asking questions about what that means. And I'm just saying, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys are very perceptive. And uh, yeah, uh, I just want you guys to know that there, yeah, there is something behind that. And the story goes through. Sure. What is your favorite dessert? Um, well, uh, this, this chocolate bar is pretty good. <laughs> How much would you spend on John Cena's bathwater? Me personally, I draw the line at 10K. That is way too low. I would give up my life savings for some John Cena bathwater. And, th and then this is what I would do with it. Mm. If you were invisible, would you have a perfectly normal relationship with a blind person? My, that's... That's kind of deep. Are you John Cena? No. Uh, I'm about as shredded as a no. Urgh. Oh, my phone again. On a scale of 1 to 10, how pretty are you? 10. <laughs> I, I'd say 10. See, I told you I was going to end up wearing this again. <laughs> my hair looks even more goofy. Actually, it doesn't look too half bad, actually. And I just ruined it. Never mind. What's the best insult you can come up with right now? You're so... B uh, if you... If you lie... <laughs> I thrive under pressure. If your life had a theme song, what would it be? Probably this. Never gonna say. See if one of your, if any of y'all commented, can I sing? Uh, you just got the answer. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, how pretty am I? Says Caleb. Ah, uh, well, he is pretty pretty. Actually, in fact, I have some interesting photos of him. Which one do I want to pick? Some of them I cannot show. <laughs> Look at this man. I wish I looked like this man. He's so hot right now, <laughs> as uh, as uh, he would say, as as it mo the dude would say again. Please don't. I swear, Loki, if you kill Mobius, I'm pissed. Are you ever going to explain my name and why I'm here? <laughs> That's from Barbecue Sauce. See, I was literally, I literally just said that I wasn't going to explain it. But you know, since you guys asked, there is a story behind Barbecue Sauce and everything about that. You know, some of you guys have noticed, but see, I can't tell you. I don't know what I just did, but see, I can't tell you. Uh, this guy, it's all this guy's fault. <laughs> it's all this guy's fault. He did it. He did it. Why haven't there been any playing with fire jokes in any of your recent videos? That's suspicious. Okay, look, I just like the chef guy point out. Look, <laughs> the chef guy. I forget sometimes. It's difficult. I realize it's a staple of my channel, but it's okay. Everything's fine. Playing with fire jokes should return to normal. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good now. I am sorry. Oh, barbecue sauce also comments. Grrr. Caleb Buck, is cereal a soup? Uh, I feel like we got this question last time, and I'm pretty sure it was from that shit guy that I mentioned a second ago. No, I don't think so. Do you have any hopes or theories for the amazing world of Gumball movie? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good question. I wonder if, because of the way the last episode, The Inquisition, ended, I wonder if, I wonder if they're trying to make some commentary on, like, reboots and stuff, like, kind of like what Disney's doing, where they're taking their cartoons and rebooting it to live action. So, like, I'm wondering if they're doing commentary on that, because the, at the last episode, they were taking the cartoon character and making them live action. Maybe that's what they're commentating on? But Gumbo is like a very like self-aware show. And so like I could see them doing something like that. I'll, all I want it to do is end off the show. That's really all I care about. Do you really enjoy Coca-Cola or are you just doing it for the sponsor? Don't think I don't notice the little Coca-Cola shirt. Hashtag Carter is sponsored by Coca-Cola. I don't even drink soda anymore. I've actually cut soda out of my life. I only drink water and tea. Uh, way too much tea, by the way. So I don't even drink Coke anymore. So why do I wear the shirt? Because I'm quirky and I'm not like other girls. <laughs> Why don't you post more? Cause I'm trying. <laughs> I'm busy. Uh, if you guys would subscribe more, I could turn this into my job and then I could post more. <laughs> so that's, that's actually y'all's fault. Over like May and June, I posted like two videos, but then right at the end of June, I like spammed like four videos out and I have two videos already filmed for this one. So they're just really long, but hopefully over July and August, hopefully I'm just going to be popping out videos left and right.
and I just <laughs> I just turn my flashlight on from shaking it around because my phone's cool because I don't have an iPhone because I'm not a sellout like the rest of y'all but I mean like that this is literally the coolest feature on any cell phone ever oh my are you subscribed to me oh my gosh I'm not I'm not subscribed to Chef Louis. That's sad. That's really sad, actually. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sub. I'm sorry, Chef Guy. How short are you? Haha, ha, exposing you because, like, you're, like, tiny. Shut up. <laughs> you just lost, you just lost your subscription. Guess what? Now I'm not subscribing and I don't even feel bad. Take that, Chef Guy. Why have you not posted on Loki and the new Rick and Morty? Also, are your, also, what are your thoughts on Loki? Um, I don't watch Rick and Morty. Why haven't you posted on Loki? I'm planning on doing a season review of Loki once it's all out. But thoughts on Loki so far? Absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Loki is so freaking good. Episode 3 was a little... Uh, but like everything else was friggin' fantastic. At the time of filming this, only the first four episodes are out. And I loved every single one. Except for that third one again. It was a little... It was a little off. But every time they're doing the TVA stuff, oh my gosh, it's so good. And as long as it ends well, it'll be better than WandaVision in my opinion. Because WandaVision was great until it stopped being great. And Falcon Winter Soldier was just a crap show from the beginning in my opinion. But hey, that's just me. What movie are you most excited for? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. It's old. The new M. Night Shyamalan movie. As you may have noticed, I'm quite the Shyamalan fan. Then let's ignore all those bad movies, okay? But yeah, the Shyamalan is great. I love Shyamalan and he's back making good movies again. I know I, I liked Glass. That's a divisive opinion. If there was a pop figure of him, I would have had, I would have it. And that would be my favorite merch. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna make some videos about old when it comes out. Definitely. How old were you when you grew facial hair for the first time? I've actually kind of, I got a little bit of hair. You see that? Oh, yeah. I need to shave actually a little bit because it's a little bit gross. It's a little gross. It's fine. It's just, uh, I have a full beard. <laughs> I don't really remember how old I was. Are you also scared of cats? Are you talking about cats like the animal? or cats is in the movie. Cause I'm scared of both. <laughs> just kidding, uh, no, just kidding. Just the movie. When did you think I can really do this? Um, like as in to YouTube? I don't really know what you're referring to. If you're talking about like a moment where I was like, wow, I can actually do YouTube. I don't even know if I am doing YouTube. Actually, no, I know. It was when I started getting comments that, uh, from people that were like, hey, this guy is really funny and he made, he made me laugh and this is really good. And you're like, you're so like underrated. It's stuff like that where I was like, oh, I am not the worst. <laughs> and then we got Evelyn Price commenting, do you have a girlfriend? And if so, which I know you do because I'm related to her. Tell the name, please. Also, the girl showed me your YouTube, and I love it. Wow, I just... <laughs> Why did that hit me so hard? Uh, first off, uh, I'm just gonna answer your question, uh, P, P and Q Cowboy or whatever. This is, this is that moment right now. I just had a... I can do this moment. I That's very sweet. I don't know if I should say her name on the channel. I know she wouldn't care, but like, I don't know if I should. Uh, but do I have a girlfriend? I do. Which is funny, because I made jokes about saying it too much earlier. But now you just gave me an, ex uh, an, an excuse to. So by the way, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I do have a girlfriend. And she's great. And I'm extremely happy. And I think she's extremely happy. Or uh, just happiness all around. And then also Barbecue Sauce commented, definitely not my girlfriend's account. <laughs> Why didn't you explain the subscripts in your Diary Part 4 video? That's definitely not your handwriting. Okay, okay. That was her, which I, okay. No, I tried to get all sneaky commenting. And it's you. Barbecue Sauce is my girlfriend. But uh, yeah, she basically took my do-it-yourself diary and wrote her own comments in there. I hadn't taken pictures of the pages yet. So some of them actually appeared in the video if you look closely. But yeah, uh, yeah, she did do that. Uh, I shouldn't really not talk about my girlfriend this much, but she's great. And thank you for watching, Evelyn. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, and now the final one is, uh, here's a question for you, Carter. Can you put duct tape around your hands and walk into your closet? I mean, I guess... I guess I can do that. I, it's, it's kind of a weird request, but I mean, I guess I can. Um, you know, if that's what the fans want, I guess. I'm taking off this hoodie. I got hot. <laughs> and this watch. Because I also got hot. <laughs> Gross. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't really understand why the person wants me to do this, but I mean, I guess the fans want to know, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really too easy. I hope you know that, Carter. That was... Wow. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, that was really, really too easy.
Wow, he is so freaking dumb. Oh, hello there, everyone. It's been a little while. Detective Spielberg has returned. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. He's really dumb. Like, like really dumb. <laughs> that was honestly a little bit too easy. Honestly, I... Why do I even try at this point? <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next time.